Okay, now I'm not sure which Samsung Galaxy Watch you currently own, whether it's Galaxy Watch 4 Regular, Watch 4 Classic, Watch 5 Regular or Watch 5 Pro. It is really important for you to know how you can conserve the battery and make it last longer. In this video, let's find out how we can change or tweak a few settings to get better battery life. Do remember that the majority of the battery is consumed by the display itself. Whenever the display is active, no matter whether you have set the AOD or a raise to wake option, the watch face is going to consume some amount of battery. So set a watch face which is static and dark in color. Go for something which can show you all the information you need and yet offers more of dark colors or black background. Heavier faces with animations conserve a tad bit extra battery. Next. Toggle off some connectivity features if you don't really need them. For example, if you don't need location services when you are at work, turn it off. If you don't need Wi-Fi on the watch, you can turn that off as well. Your phone is anyways connected to the watch if it is Bluetooth variant and it connects the internet through your watch. Turn off features like NFC if you don't need it. You can change these settings by going to settings, tap on connections. Here you can turn them off whenever you don't need them. Let's move on to the third tip. Make sure you clear the recently opened applications. Many of us do clear all the recently used applications on the phone, but when it comes to watch, a lot of us tend to forget that. Just go to application screen, tap on this recent button, scroll to the extreme left and tap on clear. This will stop the applications running in the background, in turn saving some juice. Next, let's go to settings. Tap on sound and vibration. Here, you can make some changes in vibration intensity. For some of us, we don't really need strong vibrations on the skin to get an alert or notification. A low intensity or even the sound notification may be good enough. Uh, in that case, change the settings accordingly. This should save a tad bit amount of battery as well. Okay, let's move to the next one. Some health features can be changed if you don't use them often. Set the HR monitor, stress measurement, sleep tracking, etc. turned off if you don't really use them. If you are using this watch specifically for health centric features, I don't suggest you to do that. However, many people use the watch for different reasons, but if you're not into that, you can keep them turned off. Moving on to the next one. If you use the watch indoor and most times in a stable lighting conditions, set the battery level at which it is good enough for you to read the display instead of turning on the auto brightness. This is because the auto brightness feature increases the battery levels beyond what is really needed in some lighting conditions. So turn off the auto brightness toggle if you use it in indoors with stable lighting conditions. Next, let's tap on the accessibility settings. Scroll down to see a toggle called remove animations. If you don't need the animations on the watch, just turn it off. Alright, now in my battery test results video which I posted a few days ago, I did show you how much of the battery always on display consumes. If you turn off the AOD and if you use tap on the screen to wake feature for a quick glance at the watch, you will be able to save at least 10 to 15% of the battery. This is really important. In my opinion, AOD on the watch is not really going to help us in any way except for the fact that it attracts people looking at your watch. Whenever you want to take a look at the watch, you will anyways raise your wrist most times and the screen wakes up. Or you can tap on the button or the screen to wake it up and take a look at the information. Hence, the AOD is little to no use. This is just my opinion. I'm sure many people would love to use always on display, but that consumes a lot of battery. So if you don't need it, you can turn it off. Okay, now if you're someone who don't wear the watch while sleeping, don't keep the watch on normal mode. Go to settings, tap on battery, tap on watch only mode. This shows you time but turns off the system itself. By doing this, the standby battery consumption will be saved. Last but not the least, we have an amazing feature called power saving mode on the watch. That is the mode which can give us more than half a day extra battery life while offering all the necessary features of the watch. Of course, when you turn this feature on, it slows down the watch a bit. You will notice some stutters or lags, but still, if you want the battery to last longer, you can turn this on. These are some of the tips which I feel will help you save battery on the Galaxy Watches running on Wear OS. I have posted a bunch of videos on Galaxy Watch 4 series and 5 series for which the links are in the description. If you haven't checked them out, go ahead, watch it. Those videos might be useful for you guys. That's all I want to share with you guys in this video. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.